Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwarya Saxena and today I am going to start the cloud computing series. So as our today's topic is cloud computing, so it's important to firstly understand about cloud computing. So let's understand why cloud computing we need it. What is the need of cloud computing? What was the problem that we had that cloud computing solved and since then it took over the market. Here on the left we have an owner of a business and he wants to set up a domain controller or you can say to have a, an IT infrastructure for his company. So he called Paul an IT educated person in his company and consulted him about how to go for setting up an IT infrastructure. Now Paul is a kind of person who keeps himself updated about what's happening in the IT industry and he frequently goes through learning about the recent technologies. So Paul suggested why not set up the environment in the cloud but his manager was not sure about what is cloud and more than trying to understand why and what cloud is. He was curious about the benefits of the cloud over having the domain controller locally. So Paul started to explain the very same things that I am going to explain you now. Let's start with the expenditure on the billing model with cloud. So the billing model is as pay as you go type, meaning we use less and pay less and we use more and we pay less per unit. On the other hand, in on-premises, we can't expect that. We pay everything upfront and there is an additional operating cost and it never lets us to dynamically scale. In on-premises, a lot of space is required for seating the service, uh, servers, but in the cloud, not such a space requirement is needed for the organization. In on-premises, we also need a dedicated team to manage the hardware and software. But in the cloud, no such dedicated team is needed. For most of the services, they are all get managed by the providers. And even if we need to manage them, the provider gives us option to manage them through the console, which is a lot simpler than managing directly from the device. In on-premises, we need to admit the fact that their security is poor due to the cost involved in procuring the hardware and software to provide the security. But in the cloud, the security standards are high due to the investments the providers have done to secure the data and to meet the compliances. In traditional DC, that is the domain controller, there will be really like you can say, um, generally be less focus on the data recovery and kind of settle for less when it comes to data recovery due to the cost involved. And uh, you know, the effort involved is replicate in the replicating of the data. And even if we set up an high performance data replication, a lot more can be done in the cloud for the same cost. The on-premises environment lacks in the flexibility needed today. Like if we uh, like need to restructure the IT uh, for the new age business needs, then the on-premises is not so friendly for such changes. But in the cloud, uh, like we can easily undo our uh, like or tear down an environment or migrate to the new environment and tear down the old environment in few button clicks. Now looking at the number and the frequency of the releases that happens scheduling updates would be a full time job. But with cloud, the updates happen automatically. In on premises, if I am working uh, with the team, that is spread across the globe. Working with them is unison and sharing the data is a tedious work. But with the cloud, there are a lot of tools and the technologies put together that makes it easier to share the data with other members in the team or with the new prospective customers. Like uh, if we are working with who is present across the other side of the globe, simply it will be not a big deal. In on-premises, the data will be present inside the domain controller or inside the on-premises DC and even a valid user trying to access the data from outside the organization is a tough task. But 
with the cloud as long as someone has internet providing the person access is just a few mouse click away after all this explanation and comparison and uh, talking about benefits Paul's manager was fully enlightened and uh, wants to have his IT environment in the cloud itself but Paul is not yet done and he took his manager through another level of the discussion about the cloud just like i am going to take you now so now i will be discussing about what is cloud computing but we will be discussing it in the next session in the next video so stay tuned and the next video will be coming soon thank you